Hey guys, today we're celebrating the shift key, the unsung hero of Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna show you all the cool things that the shift key can do when you're working in Final Cut. By the end of this video, you're gonna be saying, holy shift, let's dive right in. Let's start top left in the browser. If you wanna mark ins and outs on your clips, you probably know that you can either drag the edges of the yellow box to mark your ins and outs, or use the I and O shortcuts to mark those ins and outs. But did you know that you can hold down the shift key and then click inside that thumbnail to mark your ins and outs? No dragging necessary. Let's move on to the viewer. If you wanna reposition your image in your frame, you can just enable the transform tools and then grab your shot and move it around freely. I'm gonna undo that. But if I wanted to move it perfectly on the X or Y axis, I could just select that clip, make sure my transform tools are enabled, hold down the shift key and push up and down to move perfectly vertically on the Y axis. Watch if I move my cursor side to side, it's still not moving to the side. Let me undo that. And now if I hold down the shift key and move left to right, it moves perfectly on the X axis. Again, if I move my cursor up and down, it won't go up or down. Let's zoom out of our frame for our next tip. If I grab the corners of my wireframe, I can resize my clip and it stays the same 16 by nine aspect ratio, undo. But if I hold down the shift key and grab a corner, I can freely change that aspect ratio if you needed to. If I grab the rotation handle, I can spin freely 360 degrees. But if I hold down the shift key while I do this, I'm rotating in 45 degree increments. By the way, this works for the rotation in the inspector wheel as well. Let's move to the crop tools, but instead of clicking down here where you might expect, I'm just going to hit shift C and now my crop tools are enabled. And if I hold down shift while I grab any of these corners or edges, I maintain that 16 by nine aspect ratio. Now let's move down to the distort tools. Without the shift key, I can grab the edges or corners and skew my image. Let's undo all that. But if I grab one of these handles on the left or right of the screen and hold down the shift key, I'm maintaining that aspect ratio. This works on the top and bottom handles as well. Let's move down to the timeline and enable our blade tool by hitting B. If I hover my cursor over a clip and click with my mouse button, I have split that clip in two. Let me undo that. If I do the same thing while holding down the shift key, I've now bladed not just my primary storyline clip, but the connected clip as well. The next shift tip in the timeline is to invoke what's called play around. This allows you to loop a small section of your timeline over and over and over if you're trying to listen to audio or if you're trying to decide if you like a particular effect or sequence of clips. To do this, just hit shift and question mark and your timeline will keep looping over and over. The default duration of this is two seconds. If you wanna change that, just head up to Final Cut Pro, settings, playback, and change your pre-roll and post-roll durations. I'm gonna hit shift question mark again, and now it's doing a much smaller section. Speaking of the timeline, if you wanna play backward, hit shift and the space bar at the same time, and we go backward. If you wanna back time a connected clip, just select that clip in your browser, and instead of hitting the Q key, which is gonna connect it forward, hit shift and Q to back time it. If you wanted to replace a clip with a gap clip, just select it and hit shift and delete, and you've automatically got a gap clip. And if you wanna jump 10 frames in your timeline, just hit shift and arrow over once. That brings you over 10 frames. Arrow to the left brings you back 10 frames. If you wanna nudge, you can nudge frame by frame by using the period and comma keys. If you wanna nudge by 10 frames, hold down that shift key. If you wanna scroll left and right in your timeline, just hold down the shift key and then use your mouse wheel to scroll left and right. If you wanna select multiple clips in the timeline, say you wanted to select all of these clips, you could marquee select and drag, or you can hold down the shift key and grab the bottom and top and it'll select all of them. Now let's move on to the inspector. The shift key allows you to have better precision with your color masks. So I'm gonna select this pink cookie, but you can see as I click and drag, I'm having a hard time grabbing the right side of it because it's a lot darker than the rest of the cookie. And if I expand too much, I start picking up the other cookies as well. So I'm gonna contract my selection. So I just have that part of the pink cookie and I'm going to hold down the shift key and now select the right side of the pink cookie and I can grab more of it without also selecting 
the other cookies. Now here in the color spectrum, I can grab any of these pucks and move them around freely. But if I wanted to stay in a very specific range, I can hold down the shift key and only move my selected puck up or down. Lastly, in my video inspector, if I wanted to increase the scale of this shot, you know I could use the sliders or I could grab these numbers and go up or down. But if I wanted to go really fast, hold down the shift key and push up or down and you can go super fast. So those are my favorite shift key hacks. Now the shift key is used in a lot of other keyboard shortcuts. If you want a complete list, I will link to Apple's official list down below. Thanks to everyone for hanging out. Thanks to all of you who watch all the way to the end. Here's some other videos I know you're gonna love. I'll see you again.